Happy end of Fry Friday to my fellow fish nerds. Um, just wanted to put out a disclaimer first. Um, the video you're about to watch, I filmed in my classroom today uh, after school. Um, and uh, I've really gone back and forth over if I should post it or not. Um, it's just because I know that you're supposed to put good quality content out. And I just really feel that it's really not good quality. The lighting is bad. You can barely see the fish. Um, I mean, they're fries, so they're... I mean, they're they're tiny, so it's difficult to focus. There's so many layers of fry. It was difficult for the camera to focus. So, if you're looking for a video with good production value, this is not it. Um, if you're looking for a video with information, then this is it. Um, if you're looking for nice scenery and you know beautiful planted tank, clean, pristine you know, aquascaping and stuff, this is not it. Um, I like the idea of a more natural ecosystem. Um, since it is a three-day weekend this weekend on um, Memorial Day weekend, and by the way, thank you to all those who um, some gave all. Thank you. Um, uh, three-day weekend um, away from the tank. The more natural ecosystem makes it easier for the fry to be able to find food to feed on. That was a lot of S in one sentence. And um, they can feed on the microorganisms that are living on the uh, plants that I have in my tank. Um, they can feed on the, I mean, lots of stuff going on in that tank for the fry to feed on. So I'm not really too worried about them this weekend. So, um, not the prettiest tank. Um, definitely there are some people out there in the fish fan that have some much prettier tanks. Um, Dave, your um, aquarium's pristine, nice and clean, beautiful tanks. Um, who else has some pretty nice ones? Um, most, mostly everybody else. Susan, your tanks are nice and pristine and clean, very nice. Um, who else has really clean tanks? Uh, uh, sashimi, yours are definitely nice and clean tanks. Um, but, I mean, you're obviously breaking them all down right now and getting ready to move, so... Uh, I get that. Um, who else? I've, uh, is it Fish Keeper UK? Yours are pretty nice. Pretty, pretty tanks. Nice and clean. But... I come at this more from the science side of it and use these classroom tanks as a way to teach my students about ecosystems, about food chains, even on a very small level when it comes to feeding the fry. So I'm not in this for the um, art side of it and the beauty side of it. Um, don't get me wrong, I can set up a beautiful tank. Um, I have set up some really beautiful tanks in the past, in, in my opinion. Uh, just nice planted tanks, um, uh, DIY CO2, but these tanks are not it in my classroom. These tanks in my classroom are um, learning tools and not a piece of art to hang on the, uh, on the wall. Um, they are question starters for my students. They are um, teaching aids for me to, to use for so many topics. The nitrogen cycle, uh, like I said before, I, I'm re repeating myself now, uh, food chains, food webs, selective breeding, um, competition is another one, uh, natural selection even, uh, with the babies that, you know, don't swim away from the, the parents fast enough. Um, also teach teaches about uh, cells. Uh, it's great for that even. 
um, aquatic biomes, uh, dissolved oxygen in the watershed. I mean, there's so many things I, I use my fish tanks to, to talk about. So, that being said, if you're still interested in watching the rest of this video, thank you. I do um, appreciate it. Um, I appreciate um, all of my, my viewers out there. And um, so my, my the, the little, you know, conscience thing with the angel on one side, angel on the other side, whatever, one side was selling me, don't post it. It's a horrible quality. It's not good quality content. But it's quality in the information. It's not quality in the viewing pleasure. This side was telling me, stick to a schedule. Post on a regular basis. That's what I'm going to try and do. So I'm going to try and find some time next week to not be as rushed. Um, to actually post this uh, post a Friday video earlier on Friday. Because chances are by the time this video makes it, it will no longer be Friday on the East Coast. Um... So, I'm going to try and, and uh, uh, do better next week. And that's what I think we should all do as uh, YouTube channels and and uh, aficionados. I think I'm going to go with that term now. I think I'm going to make that my, my thing. Aficionado, aficionados. Um, I haven't heard anybody else say that, so I'm going to kind of be original a little bit. Fish nerds has been taken and used. I do like to use the term, but I like aficionados. It kind of has a nice sound. Um, so that's what I'm going to go with. But um, we should all be trying to improve. I'm going to try to improve my videos. Please uh, feel free to comment below with ways that you think I can improve my videos. Um, I am open to constructive criticism. Um, and also, um, if you dislike this video, I completely get it. Um, I dislike this video as far as the visual aspects of it. Um, but the information, like I said, is there. Um, so, if you dislike it, let me know what you dislike about it. If you like it, <laughs> you're an awesome person. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Um, and just comment what you did like about it, um, and be real, be honest. Don't just don't don't just leave a comment to you know to be nice. Be honest. I'm I, I've been through much worse than a comment that says you're monotone. Um, that's an ugly background. I know it's an ugly background. This is a DIY um, guppy breeder thing that I just used temporarily. Um, that's a pretty good screen thumbnail thing. I think we'll have to be using that. So, um, yeah, that's all this is. I know it's not very pretty. Um, the plastic bag behind me. Uh, I'll, just, I'll, th I'll talk about this too, since it is Fry Friday, if you're watching it this far. Um, I was thinking about um, putting this in uh, the bottom of a five gallon bucket. It's about the right diameter, um, and then putting some of the scraps, cutting some of the scraps to be like at an angle so that it sits up off the bottom of the five gallon bucket to give the guppy fry a place to um, escape to once the female drops the fry. How does that look? That looks kind of bad quality, but um, the face is bad quality too, but um. Yeah, this is my thought. It's just a, um, once again, square plastic mesh uh, cut into a circle. I actually used a pizza box to make the, um, what's it called, stencil, I guess, for it. And then I took a small piece and sewed it on with um, a fishing line. I didn't have a needle at, at that point, so this is hand sewn. It took forever. I was sitting in my driveway. Neighbors probably thought I was more special than usual. Um, but yeah, that's what this is. That's what you're seeing in the background here is is stuff for actually for for fries. So this is actually related content. Um, I feel like I I feel, I feel like a fly right now. The compound eye. I see with my compound. Okay, it's getting late. <laughs> I need to stop. But that's that. Um, also, just a plastic bag with seeds for the garden in it. 
Um, so yeah, that's the low quality stuff you're seeing behind me. So I get it. If that's what your comment is, it's fair enough. Um, trust me, I've heard much worse. Gone through a lot. Especially when I was growing up in middle school. That's for a different video though. But yeah, um, if you're still interested, please keep watching. It will come up next. Um, right after this. So, stay tuned. Hey there, fellow fish nerds. <clears throat> <clears throat> and uh, happy Fry Friday to you. In this video, I plan to show you how I sex out the approximately five week old guppy fry. And basically, what I'm looking for right now are triangular shaped gonopodium on the larger guppies because those will turn into males. Um, there is a pretty obvious example of a female, let's see if I can find her. Well, there's actually a pretty good male, let me spot it, then I'll move the camera there. Alright, that one's someone towards the camera right now, it's definitely a female. Come on, focus. Too many layers to focus on in here, I get it, but... Let's see here. You can really tell when they fold down their fin, it looks more triangular pointed. Keep it down here. See so if there's any. You know, that large one looks to be a male down there. The large one swimming up. It is so. There we go. It's too bright. And now I saw a male in here. There it is. Let's see if we can get this one over here. I suspect this one here it looks kind of triangular. Down right there, right in front. It's definitely a female. Come on, focus, focus. Gosh, where's the one I was sure was a male? But Pretty sure this one's a male. Oh, come on. Okay. Pretty sure the one I have in here is a male. So, try to put him in the, what is my temporary specimen tank here. Did it come out? Yeah, it came out this time. Alright, so I had two. One that I previously caught that was turned out to be a female, but get a closer look. Yeah, it looks like the bigger yellow or tail one. Sorry for the lighting and the focus issues. Oh, really looks triangular. So, and I don't see a distinction between its belly and the gravid spot. So, I'm pretty sure that one's a male. Yeah, that one's definitely looking triangular. I'm gonna go ahead and Catch this one and put it into the what I'm calling the uh, bachelor pad of male guppies. There we go. Just stay right. There. Come on. This bio wire would be nice to have a real specimen tank. Okay, don't don't be don't be don't don't jump out. There we go. All right, I'll move him over into the. Faster pad. Then his maleness usually should come through, and he's big enough, you see, they aren't really even messing with him. 
so there's that one. Right now I'll show you the, I'll basically the same thing, but just for every meal I can find. Next I'll show you the, um, I'll show you the guppy fry that has a, looks to be like a catfish barb on its, a barbell on its mouth. Um, so it's definitely going to be a, definitely will be separated from the rest of the population so it doesn't breed. Um, so I'll definitely go check that out next. So, right, so here's the guppy that will be a fry cull. Um, it was, I spotted it yesterday because it had a piece of feces that was hanging out that was really dark. I was like, oh, look how dark that is. I can't really tell this camera because it's difficult to focus. There we go. Might be able to see it now. But it has like what looks like a catfish barbell on its on its mouth. It's so clear, I don't think the camera's picking it up though. Alright. Yeah, I can focus better from up here so I can zoom in. Yeah, there, you kind of saw it right there. It's on its left side for the most part. You can see it better. So, go ahead and end it here. Then I'll see if I can get some more video of catching some more male fry. So, stay tuned. Like for more Fry Friday. Um might have seen one more that's possibly a male, but mm, that might be one right there actually. But I figured at least you could enjoy the activity in here. It's rather enjoyable. Here's some recently separated male fry. Here's one that's more than likely has a triangular gonopodium, triangular anal fin. This yellow one right here is my first offspring of this classroom. Um, there's a newly discovered male fry. There's one here at the bottom. So, anyways, if you find this information useful, helpful, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you can see more how to separate or how to tell the males from female guppies. If you've made the choice to watch this entire video, including my entire intro with my monotone voice, and then chose to watch my low quality, low production value um, Fry Friday video of my classroom fish tanks. Um, thank you. Um, that's really super impressive. You are a super subscriber. I do appreciate it. So just wanted to uh, send my um, uh, appreciation out there to uh, viewers like you. Um, so yeah, thank you. I, I that's. That's impressive, super impressive to sit through this entire video. Um, my intro was a lot longer than I planned. I only planned on it being two minutes. It turned out to be 10 minutes. So um, I'm long-winded as you can see. Um, I wanted my actual video, the Fry Friday part of it, to be 10 minutes total um, at the most. But it didn't make that. So it kind of was a good proof that Good laid plans may not always come to work out. So, just like me, I don't always come to work out, <laughs> obviously. But, uh, anyways, thank you once again. I really do appreciate it. Um, thank you. <laughs>